All right, DG now episode four? Five. Five, Paula, five? Five, five. all right. You right. can't count. Ten consensus, episode five, DG now, three topics, super fast. Let's go into number one. I just want to call attention to the AJ Quetta story. Did a live fundraiser this weekend with a hockey podcast I'm involved with, brought to you by the New England Hockey Journal. Shout out to Mike Motto, Brian Ross Yandel, RA, all sitting in. We raised $26,000 uh, for the family videos of current pros, former pros. Just want to get your take on, one, the story, and two, just the hockey community rallying around someone like AJ and the family. Right, tragic story. Uh, obviously, kudos to you guys, a bunch of hockey guys putting this thing together kind of last second. I was impressed. It was a phenomenal job. So, great job. I appreciate it. You were here for some of that. So, just calling attention to it. AJ10.org is still live if you want to consider donating. But thanks to everybody who did and thanks to everybody involved. So, let's go to topic number two. All right. I picked the topics by seeing kind of like what you pace around the office <laughs> talking about. PMI was one of them yesterday. So, explain that one because there was definitely a scenario going on there. That was a rant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, call in. Uh, somebody referred a purchase to me outside the city. Uh, a couple moving out, looking to put 5% down. And uh, this gentleman was adamant that he didn't want to pay, pay PMI or private mortgage insurance. Okay. A PMI, typically, you have to pay it if you're putting less than 20% down. Uh, and, and this guy was adamant that he had you know, seen a program, was quoted a rate, uh, not paying PMI. And it's amazing, you know, different lenders and marketing uh, for PMI, it, there's no such thing as a free lunch, right? So in his situation, he was going with what he didn't realize was lender pay to my, which is a single premium built into the interest rate. Keep it simple. It was a higher interest rate, no PMI. Yep. You're just paying it in the rate over time. Fan of it if the thought is you're going to be in the property for a short term. In his case, it's a long-term play for these guys. They, were, they owned a condo in the city, moving out, and um, it just makes sense to pay PMI or, or monthly PMI. So the difference between the two is the lender paid MI that he's looking at, it, it, it's, you're not paying monthly MI, but you're paying it over time in the interest rate. What I was trying to show him was, was the monthly, uh, which will basically translate into a slightly higher payment over the next couple of years, in his case, I want to say it was $28, yep. $29 more a month. Uh, but when you prove 20% equity, here's the key, you're able to remove the monthly PMI. So if you're in the property long term, you have the lower interest rate, no PMI, you're in a good spot. Yeah, and around here, this neck of the woods, PMI is such a trigger point for first-time buyers. Don't right. you? Or, or, I mean, this is a second home, but just in general. It's just like in general, trigger. right. All right, so that's PMI. You can learn more. Always reach out to the Devon Group, DM us, and we'll give you any information you want to know about that. Topic. Look at your three, options is the bottom Look line. at your options, yeah. Lay it all out there and go from there. So topic number three, SNL doing a skit on real estate this week. They were talking about basically kind of the infatuation, and they obviously did it in a certain way, the infatuation with uh, scrolling through Zillow, which real estate on SNL... No such thing as bad press, right? And in today's world, too, doing it in a certain way, it was yeah. racy. Oh, right? sure. I think that's the right word to use. Yeah, but it was funny, too. Like, they did it, it the was. right way, but it called attention to kind of just the interest around real estate for millennials right now, I would assume. Right. right? Like, it, if it's if it's trendy enough out there to make a CNL skit, it's SNL skit. I don't know why I said CNL. SNL skit, that means that's got to be something good. Right. Right. And I, and I think there's a love-hate relationship with a lot of the real estate community, believe it or not. Um, and that's the topic for another day, but it's become part of the real estate game and people sign up for Zillow. They want to see homes in a the community. Yep. They start scrolling. Even if you buy a home, unless you unsubscribe, you're still getting the, alerts, getting yeah. the feed. And yep. like myself and a lot of people, you keep looking at the feed. So it sticks with you. Yep. All right. Well, SNL and real estate. Love it. Uh, we're turning up the heat on DG now, by the way. We got to incorporate guests into the mix. We are. All right. That's the next. Uh, five, what Five, you said? Five episodes in? Mm-hmm. All right. Six, we go guest. Is that fair? Fair. All I'm right. in. All right. That's the next move. And by, by the way, great job with the pulse. I know. I'm getting flashy. I'm impressed. I'm getting flashy around here. I'm getting cocky, actually. Uh, all right. <laughs> DG now, episode five. We'll be back for six. See you later.